Hello again from my front porch. I, it's Thursday, so of course I'm at Merle Hay Lane's because it's Why Thursday. You? Why wouldn't you be? Yeah, because because contrary to what Michelle told us last time I talked to her, she's not waiting until December to start doing Thursday night shows. She decided that this was such a great idea that she is going to start doing it now. And if when I say now, I mean not like tonight. We just wrapped up with this fine gentleman right here. Uh, and his name is, uh, what's your name again? Rick Burke. Rick Bur oh yeah, that name right behind me there. Rick, Bur <laughs> Rick, Rick Burke's Traveling Show yeah. and, and Music see, Review. See, see, see. In the house. Now, now I'm still going to put the information along the screen here, along the bottom. But you can see it right there on his little poster behind us right there. But now, Rick, and I, and I, and I did film some, some clips of, oh, of cool. some of his songs. And so I'm going to insert those here. You're going to see so, so, some pieces of of his of his songs to see how great it but but now Rick how long have you been doing how long have you been doing this kind of stuff well actually the solo acoustic thing I've been doing it since 2008 I got laid off from a job and decided I didn't want to be laid off from another job again yeah so I started playing music but actually playing music I've been doing it since I was 25 years old I played mm -hmm. been a bass player uh, front man guitar player mm -hmm. and now I just do this thing and it's the happiest I've ever been playing music, playing so, for people. So before 2008, you you didn't do any of this kind of, uh, of, of solo gigs? Not stuff. the solo gigs. Were no. you part of any bands or anything? I've been part of thousands of bands. Uh, some people <laughs> might remember the Heaters that played around Des Moines. It was a, uh, uh, basically a blues show band. A band in southern Iowa named Rocks, which was, uh, we played basically played KGDO song list and had a great time all over southern nice. Iowa. Uh, yeah, music's it's always been in my life and uh, can't imagine living without it. Can't imagine you living without yeah. it. Yeah, well, you know, it's a dull life without music, that's for oh. sure. Yeah. But now, now, having watched you, now you, you, you have a lot of fun up there. You, oh. You, 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 I mean, it's not like you're just up there performing songs. No. You're up there just kind of, Rick is having a good time <laughs> and, and he's hoping that you have a good time with him. But, but doesn't matter, he's going to have a good time no matter what. I've learned a long time ago that if you're not having a good time playing music, you're doing the wrong thing. You're yeah. doing the wrong thing. So uh -huh. I have a good time. I play songs that I love, and, and I hope people that come to see me love it too. Now, this isn't your first time at Merle Hay Lane's, right? No, I played time, right? Uh, a week ago Saturday, uh -huh. and this is my and she decided she was going to have music for all of uh, start doing Thursday bookings right yeah. away so I jumped right on the bandwagon next yeah. month is going to be crazy there's Thursday great musicians every Thursday and next month yeah. Earl Hay Lanes and then yeah. you're going to be back when the 29th of November 29th of November so the, the first Thursday after Thanksgiving yes after Thanksgiving week, yes that's when you want to plan to be here because that's when Rick will be back. Yes. For me. Yes. Well, I mean, you want to be here every Thursday. That's a given. Yeah. But you want to make sure you're back here <laughs> the Thursday after Thanksgiving because that's when Rick is playing. But but really, you you you, you do a fantastic job with so so. Thank you so, so much. So uh, have you had formal training with guitar, or is this uh, do, you, do you pick it up by ear? Or it's, what, it's where a, does the talent come from? <laughs> well, the talent is God given, <laughs> <laughs> such as it is. But you, in no, other words, you stumbled into it. It's just really hard work. Uh, you and you, like I say, you have to love it. It's hard work. You, you spend hours and hours by yourself learning to play songs, remembering lyrics. Because you, if you notice, I don't use a cheat sheet. Everything I can do like 600 songs without a cheat sheet. So you know, That's I don't. Impressive. I don't want that between me and my audience. I yeah. want to be able to look people in the eye while I'm singing and not yeah. have something else going on. So yeah, uh, just I'm stubborn. It's a lot of hard work. And, but that being said, anybody can do it as long as you're as stubborn as I am. Well, and I will say this. I said before, Rick, when he's up there, he's performing, and, he, and, and you'll see in the clips here, but, but and, and when he's performing, he's having a good time, but you are very sensitive to trying to draw the audience in. To oh, yeah. Try, try, trying to make sure that it's not just a passive yeah, viewership. Yeah, if, if, if it weren't for the audience, you're just playing with yourself. 
<laughs> not, not a now bad that sounds thing. bad. <laughs> not a bad. Not a bad thing altogether. <laughs> but it's a lot more fun if there's more people involved. Uh, well, that's true. Yes. <laughs> this is a PG. Yeah, the PG version. show. Yes, this is a family program. But 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 seriously though, the, the, uh, uh, there were there were two or three songs that specifically. Uh, in fact, there was there was one song. The um, um, uh, oh, I just blanked on it. Uh, uh, Margaritaville. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mar- that, that 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 there's there there are sections of Margaritaville where it's just understood. Yes. The audience should respond. And when he was playing it, he got to the first one and the audience didn't respond right away. <laughs> and so his solution was to completely stop. Yeah. And not play anything and just glare at the audience <laughs> until the audience figured out, oh, oh, we're supposed to say something yeah. now. Be, because and, and now that's kind of a forced participation, but still it was it's it was, their party. It, yeah, it, it was <laughs> wait a minute, this is your part, folks. Come on, do that. And and so I, I thought that was great. I thought that was that was a fan. Uh, I, I've never seen a performer a performer actually just stop and wait for the audience to catch oh, up. I'll abuse an audience if they give me a chance. If they, if they don't if they don't do what I want them to, I'll abuse them. <laughs> <I don't care. laughs> if they're not having fun, I'm not having fun. But yeah, it was a great audience tonight here at Merle Hay Lanes. I mean, the people were participating, having good. They got up and danced, which is unusual for a solo performer to get people up and dance. It happens, but yeah, I just love playing here. The room sounds great. I mean, it's it's just a great room for for what I do and what other musicians are going to do in here. It's it's really truly a good sounding room. Now, I should have had Michelle send me the video before she before so Michelle, the owner here, because uh, she videoed on her on her phone. But uh, I, I, he was looking for songs too, and I yelled out something by Johnny Cash. He played Folsom Prison Blues, of course, you know my favorite Johnny Cash song, and I don't have video of it because <laughs> because I was asked to dance during the song, so I couldn't video it. So. That's okay. But 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 you did a fantastic Come back the rendition. Come back the 29th of November, and you'll do it again. Yep. You ask me, okay. and I'll do it again. All right, all right. Now, do you, do you know any other Blake Shelton songs? Who's that? No, oh, he's on The Voice. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of that bro <laughs> he, country. Yeah, no, he used to be a country singer. <laughs> yes. I do not do any Blake Shelton. Uh, I'm more of a classic country yeah. kind of guy. Like, we're talking 70s and earlier. Oh. Uh, I'm not into the, the newer Jerry country. Reed? Uh, yeah, a little bit Jerry Reed. A lot of uh, Merle Haggard, Willie Nelson, Johnny oh, Cash, yeah. Chris Christopherson. Ernest Tubb. A little bit of Ernest Tubb. I Roy Acoff. I don't do uh, the only one. Marty I Robbins. I do Marty Robbins. I, El Paso. Oh. oh man, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Big and, Iron. And mostly that's because I'm just an old guy. Oh yeah, I am. Yeah. You can't be that old. You don't look that much older than me. Uh, I, I'll probably I could be your dad. Really? No, I doubt that. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe music keeps you young. I don't yeah, know. I'm, I'm 16. 16. Yeah. Yes, there we yes. go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it rhymes with 16. <laughs> I like that. It's good. So, so now, now uh, you've been doing the, the the solo thing since 2008. Yeah. Right. So, so what what has been some of your best experiences since you've been doing this? Oh, let's see. Uh, it's it's hard to pick out one thing, but. Uh, the Greenwood Lounge. Yeah. If you've heard of the Greenwood Lounge, is just like the perfect venue. A music artist's dream because yeah. the people that come there always respect what you're doing, uh-huh. and they're listening to what you're doing, yep. and they're having a good time. Yep. And they're very friendly, very sharing. It's another great venue if you don't know where. The, haven't been to the Greenwood Lounge. Great music six it's nights on Ingersoll a week. Ingersoll Avenue. They're here in Des right, right next to the old dinner, Ingersoll Dinner Theater. Yep. Yep. And uh, they, it is it is it is the consummate, dingy, rundown, oh. hole in the wall kind of bar. Dive. It dive bar, yeah. a complete with it has a mural on the wall that might as well be a velvet painting of dogs playing. Well, they poker. got that on the other side. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing but, with dogs. But but the point is that venue, for whatever reason, between the acoustics and just the general atmosphere and ambiance, yeah. it is the perfect place to go and catch really talented music oh. and it's amazing the local musicians that line up to perform in that I'm place. I'm so honored to be playing there when you look at the list that's on their mm. board every yeah. every month of the people that are playing. The, the top musicians in Des Moines play in there regularly. Yeah. So that's The top musicians and you. 
and me. <laughs> they, let, they let me play there because, <laughs> so they can have a quiet night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have to balance it out. That's so, right. No, but seriously, this guy's great, and you're going to hear it now. I'm going to I'm going to play some clips, uh, some some portions of the songs that I was able to capture of, of you playing. You were you were really phenomenal. Thank you. Real, some some tremendous artistry, not just in the vocals, but in his in his ability with the guitar. Some really good talent there. Some 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 really good soft touch to what he's oh, doing. Oh, I want so. an interview next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so without further ado, here here is some some Rick. Enjoy, it not, not not to be confused, Randy Burke, who also is a local artist, but he spells his name wrong. Yeah, he spells his name spells, totally wrong. Spells his name totally wrong. <laughs> goodbye from the front so, porch. Well, no, no, we're not goodbye oh. yet. I, I'll say goodbye after the clip. Oh, okay. Okay, so. so Never mind. So, so, see, don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. All right, so here we go. Here's some clips of Rick Burke. Here you are.
Joe and Liz on Cherry Street. He's a deacon on Sunday where the Baptists meet. He knows where he's going when he's racing his run. He's got an option on a condo overlooking the sun. Well, I wish I would have been that guy. Was Rick Burke. Now you see how talented and incredible of a musician and singer he is, and you know you want to be here the first Thursday right after Thanksgiving oh, yeah. so that you can hear him live and in person. Work off some turkey. Work off some turkey right. because there will be dancing happening here, I am absolutely certain. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Rick, for thank taking you, time sir. to chat with me. Sure, and we'll see you it. in a monthish or so. Yeah, monthish. I like that. Yeah. That's a word, right? That's, it is now. Okay. All right, and I'll see you all next time from my front porch. <laughs>